Hello friends. So finally, Apple has released iOS 14 public beta 5. This was the most awaited public beta this time because we have faced a lot of issues in public beta 4. And now with this iOS 14 public beta 5, Apple has addressed all those major issues and now you should see that your iPhone should run better than beta 4 and beta 3. So finally we have this public beta 5 and I personally feel if you are on beta 4 you should definitely go ahead and update it to beta 5. If you are on beta 3 wait for a few days see what is the review of this beta 5 because this has just launched yesterday and we don't know much about it. As of now it looks good definitely better than beta 4 but wait for few days if you are on beta 3. Now coming to this update it is around 1.8 GBs which is much higher for the beta softwares but it has fixed a lot of bugs and that is why the size is pretty big. There are new few features which we'll discuss later in the video. Let me first tell you what has been fixed. The most annoying bug was to connect our airpods to our iPhone. Whenever you have these airpods on and if you try to call someone it would simply not work. You won't hear anything and now that has been fixed which is a big relief to everyone. Another bug was when you had these airpods on and when you launched the camera app on your iPhone it would simply struggle for the focus and now that has been fixed which is a good news for this beta. There was one more bug when people try to write something with their keyboard, keyboard would simply disappear, it would not appear and that has been now fixed and now you can use your keyboard like normal so which is also a good fix. There was one more bug with guided access so whenever we tried to open the guided access it would simply not work these options would not work and it will freeze your iphone now that bug has been fixed now and now you can easily use guided access on your iphone apps were also crashing a lot on beta 4 and that seems to be fixed i've been using this phone for few hours now but I don't see any app crash. I still have to use it more to understand if that has been fixed or not but as of now the results are good. Now let's look at some useful features that Apple has added in this beta 5. The first useful feature is when you launch the photos settings on your iPhone you can now hide the hidden album inside your photos. Now when you have this toggle off it would simply not show the hidden album under the list of these albums inside photos. So you can hide photos from photos app and you can turn this toggle off and it would simply hide your photos from photos app. But there is a small catch to it. Even if you have this hidden album off, people can see the photos inside that hidden album from other apps. Let me show you how. Supposedly you launch Insta and you want to add some photos to it when you select more photos. You can see that in this image picker, this hidden album is visible. Now you can tap on hidden album and you can see what are the photos inside that hidden album. So people can access your hidden album photos even if you put that toggle off. So keep that in mind. So I feel this is a half baked feature and we should have at least given face ID to lock and unlock that hidden folder and that would have been much better. Now Apple has made some changes to exposure notifications. Now you can enable it even if you don't have any local authority app installed on it. Obviously you will need that app to install it but you have few settings here. You can go ahead select your country and then you can set it up before you install any new app to your iPhone. Another feature is if you had that featured photo and you didn't like it you can now go ahead and remove it. What you can do is simply tap on it go to share option and then you can tap on this remove from featured photos. So this will remove this photo from the featured photo option and it will give you another new photo. This one looks good. Now there's a small and useful update that Apple has added to the time picker. Now what you can do is earlier you could only type in the time and set it up that way. But now in addition to that you can simply swipe on it and select the time. And it has that beautiful haptic feedback also. And now when you add a screen time limit to any app that would reflect for your widget also. So Apple is going much deeper into the widgets and this is really really helpful if you're actually using this feature on your iPhone maybe with your kids. And then there is this beautiful addition to Apple Music. Whenever you are changing the song it's gonna change the background of the song which looks beautiful. Now before you go there is a new bug that has been discovered on this beta 5. Whenever you launch Instagram and try to add photo on Instagram app you can see it would simply show a black screen. So if Instagram is very important to you please keep this in mind you can skip this update and wait for the next update. 
so that's all i wanted to discuss today i'm happy upgrading to beta 5 because i was also facing few issues major issues were with the airpod and i could manage that so it is expected to have bugs in beta softwares but this time it was very buggy normally it never happens this was a rare case you can say but finally apple has fixed all those major bugs and now i can use this uh, my primary iphone without any issues so that's all for today see you in the next one thank you for watching